Okay, what we have here looks a lot like an RPN calculator. So it has no equal sign, has an enter key instead here. And it's used a lot like an RPN calculator, but instead of doing actual calculations, it does, uh, you know, instead of doing numerical work, it does symbolic work. So for example, we can push uh, 2 onto the stack, it shows the stack up here. Push a 3 onto the stack, and I've got 2 and 3 on the stack. Apply the plus operator. Now instead of actually doing the addition, it just leaves that as a new single element now on the stack. And it displays it in infix notation. It's using ma uh, math jacks to do this. I'll show the source for it in a second. Uh, let's say four times. Okay, so we just did two, three, plus four times, just like an RPN calculator. We didn't have to specify any operator precedence. It's just the, you know, the order in which you push things to the stack and the order in which you apply the operators. Now in the display, it's showing infix, right, and it's having to use parentheses to make sure that the operator precedence is kept straight. But uh, you, as as the person inputting this, you don't have to think that way. Uh, if you actually meant two plus three times four, then you'd have to just input it differently. So instead of two, three, uh, four, then do the multiplication, then do the addition. Okay, so now you don't need the parentheses and the, the operator precedence does the right thing. If you really want to, just to be explicit, you know, you can. There is an operator for taking something on the stack and putting parentheses around it, anything. So here we just have two things on the stack, a two and a three times four expression as a single entity. And I can put parentheses around that and then add. And so then it formats it that way. Um, let's try something more complicated though, just to kind of show off the idea. Uh, let's calculate my favorite number, which is E. So we take uh, k factorial, reciprocal of that. Okay, so now that's a single expression. We just took a few things, uh, you know, a k, uh, and applied a couple operators to it. And uh, let's see, we're going to go from, from k equals zero. Mm -hmm to infinity. So again, we just applied a few operators, now we have three things on the stack. And I have a single operation that takes three things, and these are named kind of the same as the standard HP calculator naming convention of X is the top of the stack, Y is the second thing on the stack, Z is the third. So this will yank those three and formulate it like that. Nice 2D representation, just like you'd write it out. Only that's difficult in normal you know, typesetting software to get that right. Uh, and that all equals E. Normally, actually, we say E equals that, so let's go back. Since this is a stack language, just like normally, we've got these two things in the stack. I can swap them and then apply the equals and it formats it correctly. Now, you get this nicely formatted math here, right? Now, this is using MathJack, so the, the whole purpose of this is to be able to input some complicated things like this and then view the source for it. Um, it'll either format as tech now there's the tech for that. Now you could have just typed all this by hand. I don't know if using my thing or using this would be would be easier or you know less keystrokes, but uh, I definitely find this input system a lot easier than trying to write the tech out by hand. Or uh, you can use MathML, and so that's going to be really verbose syntax, but uh, that's the MathML for the same thing. Well, that's the basic idea, just that you can use RPN not to just do numerical work, uh, treating the stack as you know numbers on the stack, but you can treat expressions as entities on the stack and apply operators to them. And you get the same kind of benefit as, as you do on an RPN calculator, that you can just take an expression that you see on paper and you can work it from the inside out. Uh, you don't have to you know keep track of intermediate results anywhere. You just have all these things floating on the stack and you combine them in different ways. and and uh, make interesting things out of it.